I cannot believe I am saying it, but I'm about to play some Animal Crossing. Hi friends, how's it going? Um, I have been working on my resetting. I reset my Animal Crossing Island. If you haven't seen the first two Let's Plays, feel free to check those out. But I have a lot to update you guys on today. A lot of things have been happening. During streams on Twitch, twitch.tv slash finesse cross girl, shameless plug, um, I have been working on the island a little bit, um, just kind of progressing, but very slowly, you know? I don't play every single day and that's just how it's gonna be. I'm too busy. Too many things to do. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna show you guys. So let's hop into our game real quick. I simply just cannot believe it, but look who's here. I'm actually kind of happy to have Isabel back. She has just some sort of like a certain little charm about her. At first I was like, ooh, kind of spicy that Tom Nook's doing the announcements, but I'm not of that opinion anymore. I want my girl Isabel back, so here she is. I'm sorry, I am in my wetsuit. I didn't mean for you guys to see that. This is uh, what my house looks like. It really is kind of just the same as last time. I didn't change anything at all. We got uh, more space and we got a room back there, but I haven't really like done anything since I built the room. I simply just don't have time. There's too much to do in the day. Dailies take four freaking ever and I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, it's not gonna happen right now. Until I wanna sit down and dedicate some time and energy, it's not happening. But I will show you guys everybody else's house so we had three lovely villagers move in. Hold on, I was gonna show you guys the houses, but I have to go back and get a ladder. The a mess. The a mess. All right, y'all, we are running it back. I finally, I have obtained a ladder and I'm gonna show you guys everybody that lives here now. Oh, don't look at her, don't look at her. I'm. It's a supposed to be a surprise. Uh, I have got to build more bridges and like stairs and stuff. This is getting insane. I hate pulling out my little vaulting pole. Drives me nuts. As you guys know, the very first villager that we got to move into Tiny Town is actually Hornsby. Um, and it looks like he's home, so I'm gonna go say hi. Maybe he'll have a little something something for us. Oh, no, just kidding. He's just, uh, here being his bad self. Look at him. He's cute. I do like him. Um, I hate that, you know, obviously the first couple villagers don't have their real houses. That kind of irks me just a little bit. Cause if not, I mean, I would totally be down to keep them, but we're probably gonna have to replace all these honeys in favor of villagers with their real life houses. I want a way to like change that, please, Nintendo. And then the second villager to move in um, was actually B, who we saw earlier. Um, sorry, I ignored her, but this is B's house. Again, we found her on a mystery island just randomly one day during stream I was like let's go let's uh, just see who we find and uh, it was actually B down here we have little miss sprinkle we also found her right after B because we were like let's try our luck let's go to a second island and it was sprinkle so that really did work out too um oh sprinkles got something for us finally geez a wooden block wall clock I love how that rhymes oh she's so cute yeah, I really, really like Sprinkle. I actually think this house kind of fits her too decently well. Honestly, we only allow cuties to live on Tiny Town, nobody else. And then of course, as you guys know, we do have um, Phoebe and Billy living on the island, our two starter villagers. So that leaves us with a grand total of five. And I figure since we have our resident services all built, you know, all good looking, ready to go, let's go ahead and go inside and see what Mr. Old Nook has to say to us. Oh wow, look at them just doing their thing. The thing that they always do. Oh my goodness, it's our first time meeting. I forgot. She doesn't know me yet. I think that I could beat Tom Nook in a fight, but I don't think I could beat Isabelle in a fight. She kind of scares me a little bit. She puts off really big girl boss energy, and I don't know if hand-to-hand -hand combat, I would prevail. Like, I don't know if that would happen, but with Tom Nook, I think I could kick his butt. Just a thought. Just a thought that I had just right now. Now we're actually about to build a campsite, so that's great. I have I really thought about where I'm gonna put my campsite, but I think I'm just gonna put it like kinda near my resident services for now. Everything at the moment is just like all over the place. Um, there's really just no rhyme or reason as to the placement of anything on my damn island. Okay, I'm kinda covering it. Sorry. <laughs> campsite construction kit. <sighs> Okay, hopefully I have all this stuff because I'm not about to go find it. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? 
What is that? Red is here. That is so cool. I didn't know he walked around the island. That's so weird. Is the first painting you buy fake? Oh, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just dump this off. Lathers will not stop talking about the stamp rally. I already did it yesterday. I don't need to be doing it every day. There's literally no point. Oh, he's going to expand the museum now. That's how that works. We're going to check in my house and see if we have the materials to make the campsite construction kit. As I can see that being a problem. So if I remember correctly, we need 15 hardwood, 15 softwood, 15 wood, and whew, that was the one I was worried about. 15 iron, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, so we just need uh, hardwood and regular wood. So let's uh, skedaddle and grab some of that. That's great. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's just hilarious because I don't have an ax. So <laughs> let's go get one. I like how I have just like the most random stuff laying around the island. All these DIYs, by the way, are from a DIY swap that we did. And they're like all the same beginning of the game kind of DIYs. So I don't really know what to do with them quite yet. Another thing that we did while we were streaming, which by the way, if you are not on Twitch, twitch.tv slash finesse cross girl, we are streaming over there. It would be great if you could pop in, but uh, we built an orchard. So that's kind of like what this is. I mean, it doesn't look like an orchard because none of the trees have fruit right now. And I mean, these three just will not grow. I think that these guys all have to grow before these ones will. It just doesn't want to go my way. That is indeed an orchard and not just like a random clusterfuck of trees. So I'm just going to keep buying flimsy axes. Um, I'll buy three of them. How about that? That should be enough to get us the wood that we need. And I am definitely not going to craft them. Uh, we really, really need some hardwood. So maybe don't give me the other types of wood. Actually, that would be really nice. I asked you guys um, a while ago what island theme I should do. I'm having some thoughts. So a lot of you guys said Kid Core because Kid Core, of course, is very popular right now. Um, and for good reason, Froggy Crossing is a queen. I am thinking about how much I really like the tropical type of vibe, kind of like the jungle-y thing. Oh no, oh Jesus Christ, okay. Um, it's okay, it's okay, we're gonna get to the building. It's okay, it's okay, we're almost there. No, no, are you kidding me? <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do really like the jungly type of vibe, so I might be doing that island theme in conjunction with Kid Core. What do you guys think? Um, I think those two could go really well together because of like super vibrant colors. Maybe I'll just have a couple of random little Kid Core designs throughout the island. But another thing I was thinking about is how I kind of want to do a whole entire island very like normcore. So when I say normcore, I kind of like am just indulging in this idea of doing an island like pretty similar to my very first island. I didn't really terraform a whole bunch. I worked with like the natural landscape of the island and um, just built around it that way. Kind of like how all of our games first looked when the game like first came out or when you first started playing. So I kind of want to do something like that. Just a very norm core kind of island, upload a dream address and have it just be simply iconic. So let me know what you guys think of those idea. I for sure want to do a jungly theme during the summer because the summer months when the ground gets like super emerald green and everything just looks so like vibrant and beautiful I want to take full advantage of that so and uh, let's be honest I'm probably gonna be inside a lot of the summer because I live in Arizona and it's too freaking hot to go outside and I do live that sedentary gamer girl lifestyle so I'll have a lot of time to like work on my Animal Crossing Island. I'm not ashamed to admit that. So I'm finally crafting the campsite construction kit. Amazing. We got all the wood and all the things that we needed. I kind of want to put it on like that leftish side of my island nearby that little pond. So let's go. Let's just drop it there. I don't really care that much. <laughs> all right. I think this is the spot, you guys. This is probably where we want to be. This is it. I don't even want to see it. I have so much faith. <gasps> How cute. Oh my goodness. So I know I said I won't be like time traveling on this save, but guess what? I am about to be a big liar. What I'm going to do is time travel so that we have something to do during this video. I kind of just want to get like the campsite all good to go. all steady spaghetti. See what our first campsite villager is. Now I know for sure that you have to keep your very first campsite villager and it's a smug. Thoughts and prayers for, I guess, Marshall or Raymond? Like, 
<laughs> we'll see. I mean, it would be really cool to get those villagers um, just out of like sheer, I don't know, like, oh my gosh, the luck. Okay, I think we're gonna do it. I think that we are going to time travel for our, oh, for our very first time on the save. So let's go to tomorrow for our campsite because I think that once the campsite is constructed, it probably won't have a villager in it, but maybe like the next day, I don't know. We're just gonna wing it. Tiny Town is expanding the museum. Okay, great. Yes, we got a campsite. We are ready to go. Let's get it. All right, campsite is here. Looking good. Um. Let's see what we have to do to get people to come in it. I don't remember anything about the very beginning of the game, you know. Aren't they adorable? Oh, look at Sprinkle just hanging out with her stick. You go, girl. You use that stick. I don't know what for. Are they gonna stick fight? They both have sticks. Mm. <laughs> this day was a flop. I'm going to wrap it up and go to tomorrow, just straight up. Tomorrow, the museum will be built and maybe somebody will be at a campsite and maybe it'll be a Marshall or a Raymond. Okay, here we go, Isabel. Give me some good news, honey. <gasps> we do have announcements. We have a visitor at the campsite. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, and the museum, of course, of course. So tell me something I don't know. I hope it's somebody good. Who are the smug villagers? Let's just look it up. Beardo, Chatter, Chops, blah, 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 blah. You Jean, Graham, I do love Hans, love Henry. O'Hare was my smug villager that's required to move in um, for my very last island. I did not really like O'Hare. His house was awful. Quilson, I also had Quilson once. Um, he's very cute, but he just, he has seriously one of the ugliest houses. Yeah, everybody else seems pretty chill. Hopefully the Animal Crossing gods will bless us with a mad cutie because they have to know by now that Tiny Town is really only accepting the cutest residents. We are approaching the campsite. This is our very very first campsite visitor. I'm so excited. I hope that it's somebody good. I please God and Jesus above, please. It's Colton. That's cool. I'm down with that. I mean, look at him. He's kind of adorable. Um, and I love his whole high school play vibe. Yeah, good for him. We like Colton. Okay, not bad. Not bad, everybody. I wonder what Colton's house looks like. I kind of want to look it up. Um, first off, love his little pose. He's adorable. And this is his house. Oh, it's interesting. Definitely. I honestly, I think that he is a cutie and he is allowed to move into tiny town. So I have no qualms about that. Okay, I have Colton's plot. We gotta go put it down. I don't know where to put it. I also was thinking like, how cool would it be if I built like a little mini neighborhood? You know, kind of like where these guys' houses are, but that's gonna take a lot of planning and probably a lot of like moving houses, you know? So I'm not really gonna stress about that right now. Oh, that looks good. Yep, we're gonna keep it there. That's fine. I'm just so happy we didn't get somebody freaking ugly like chatter. I just, I would have been very upset. <laughs> oh, how cute. Okay, Colton is all moved in. How fun is that? Oh, I'm so excited. He's gonna move in probably tomorrow. Like, I don't know. But that's kind of all I've really got for you guys today. We're just slowly progressing on the island. You know, I wanted to make sure I kept you guys all caught up. But if you want to watch us work on the island a little bit more, come check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash finesse cross girl. My other socials are also down below if you want to go and check me out on there, as well as our lovely Discord community. But yeah, um, exciting things are coming. Let me know what theme you prefer. If you think I should just do like a normcore island real quick. Um, if you like the jungle idea or if you are just like 100% girl do kid core, let me know. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next one.